Hey, 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 it's your girl Ashley, aka okay, The Widow, and today we are going to be talking about episode one of Miss Marvel. Uh, but for first, please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you have your notification bell turned on because I know you don't want to miss a thing. So we're going to get right into this discussion and my thoughts and my feelings about Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel dropped at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. Um, and so I, I had double duty last night. I started with Obi-Wan Kenobi, finished on uh, Miss Marvel, and I... You know, I went into this show kind of thinking that maybe the show wasn't for me, um, that I possibly wasn't going to be able to connect with it. And the more I thought about it and, and heard people talk about, you know, this is kind of like um, a homecoming, like this coming of age story. And I really, 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 really enjoyed Spider-Man Homecoming. I was big on that film, really, uh, really vibed with it, really enjoyed it. Um, so... So I kind of was like, well, I'm going to go into it with an open mind. So I a lot of early positive reactions for Miss Marvel, which again, I take a lot of that with a grain of salt because someone else's reaction is not my reaction. Um, and a lot of them kind of uh, said a, a lot of what I was feeling, that I was pleasantly surprised that I walked out of, uh, from, from loving this show as much as I did. Um, visually, it, it's stunning. I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm about to, to, to butcher their names, but I loved what they did with Bad Boys uh, 3. I'm super, super excited for uh, these directors. They came back and um, did did such a wonderful, wonderful job here with Miss Marvel. I, I know that they don't direct every episode here, but visually, the, the things that they did with the visual panels, um, a lot of like the text on screen, we got these really cool moments where she's texting and um, with with Bruno, her really good friend Bruno here, and um, she's texting with Bruno um, later on in the episode, and you and you see that displayed, um, you know, in the road or, or or as a neon sign and a lot of things like that. And then even in the episode when they're discussing like possible a combination and fusion of two characters when she talks about being, you know. A zombie Captain Marvel and we see these cool images of zombie Captain Marvel these cool images of you know Captain Marvel and, and Doctor Strange all of these combinations and all these visuals that play into the background and you see them they don't take away from the story um so I think that visually it was amazing a lot of the camera angles the camel work they did here with the show is highly highly interesting and really really cool and then um early on in the episode we even get a really cool moment where she's in the the office with the counselor and the counselor's like you know you got to start you know deciding what you want to do with your life who you want to be where you want to go where do you see yourself you know in the future and and really 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 you, you get this cool moment where it's her face with it with the split screen with the counselor which i think is really cool also the clock spinning and then also the camera angle spinning along with that clock amazing you get the sense that she feels like she's a, that awkward kid she doesn't fit in in the opening is also uh she's like this youtuber she makes these little cute little youtube videos that a lot of people aren't watching but she's steep in this no nerd culture she loves the avengers she loves uh, captain marvel right we also find about this really really uh, you know interesting what how she got a lot of this information about what happened in, in the events of endgame and things that happened uh, through the course of all of this because ant-man has a podcast so i thought that was really cool and so and it seems like something that scott lane could possibly be doing you know because the sense of humor and the way that um you know scott lang is portrayed in these films so i i really 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 did like that and, and then another thing I, the the sense of family and her mother's longing here and and kind of like uh what her mother was also f what her parents are feeling um and you know trying to you know uh you know be very you know close to their culture and their identity and where they come from and her just trying to be this kid right that fits in with all of that and and we see um we see you know how does that work out you know how does that all 
uh, incumbents itself. So there's a picture, uh, this scene right here, like they, uh, with the parents down here, uh, we, we did get, we did see this image, uh, you know, in the early release images, we got to see this image and really, uh, she really wanted to go to this Avenger con and, you know, her, her mother like really thought about it, spoke with a, you know, uh, Kamala's father. And then they make the decision that she can do this, but they want her to wear this kind of a more traditional Pakistani, um, you know, Hulk, uh, costume and she does not want to wear it. Um, and her father, uh, you know, comes in and he's like, you know, your father will go in with you. That's how you get to go. Um, she is really embarrassed at the thought of her father, you know, wearing this suit, her having to wear it. And she tells him that, you know, he can't go. And in that moment, you see how hurt her parents feel, you know. They're trying to do something for her. But they don't understand that she's just this girl who's trying to fit in. And they're also truly hurt because they're trying to, you know, to keep those uh, those cultural connections and, and their family and, and where they come from is a big part of them and, and, and Kamala is kind of like pushing back on that a bit and you see this moment and, and the fact that you know in that moment when her mother walks out and her father he just seems very very sad and he's like you're not going um later on of course she finds a way to go to AvengerCon and 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 she and, and Bruno kind of tells her you know you know, bring a part, a piece of you into this suit. And then that's when um, she goes to the attic. She remembers the bracelets because earlier in the episode, she gets a package from her grandmother. And it's obviously setting up that her grandmother, you know, was kind of like this hero and then possibly her mother rejected that lifestyle. So she puts on, um, she goes and gets the bands. And later at Avenger, AvengerCon, we see her kind of go into the negative zone and then come back up. And then when she's on stage, that that power that power is displayed. So I think that all of that is really really cool, um, you know, through the episode. And then and then we see later like, you know, her with Bruno and like you could tell that Bruno probably has like a crush on her and maybe she has one on him a bit, but they're really really good friends. Um, also, you know, Bruno promises, you know, I'm not going to tell about your superpowers right um and so she sneaks back into her bedroom window and we see this really cool uh image of the time on the screen like she was supposed to be home at you know nine at a little bit after nine it's not 11 after 11 and she is just walking in the door and there's her mother her mother is sitting there in her room and she catches her and she says who are you don't you want to be a good person or do you want to be this cosmic person out in the clouds? And her mother is really, really sad. And, you know, the parents here, um, I feel like they do a really good job. Um, I feel like that, you know, that kinship a bit with her mother in the sense that we all have an idea of who, our ch who we want our children to be, right? But here it's it's even more so because she wants you know her daughter to have this traditional life but it's who our kids truly want to be and like and, and through the course of the show i think her parents are going to learn that but at this point her mother is truly sad and you you and and when you're when you your kid starts to get to be in that teenage state uh, age you kind of feel that and i and i really understood that and the emotion that was conveyed in that scene and the sadness the mother had portrayed and she says, who do you want to be in this world? Do you want to be a good person? And I think that she, the mother is going to learn that just because Kamala might embrace this power and being a superhero doesn't make her less of a good person. We also see a moment, you know, when she's, you know, dressing up for, for the wedding, you know, getting ready for a wedding um, in a traditional Pakistani, you know, wedding garb here. And it's very beautiful, red, beautiful colors. And then her mother is having a conversation back and forth with um, someone from the community. And she explains, you know, my, and, and, the, and the lady tells um, Kamala's mother, you know, my daughter doesn't want to get married. Uh, she, uh, she, she chose to go backpacking, you know, and in and, and the way that they kind of condemn this girl. And Kamala's reaction to that. And she later brings that up. And what does that mean to her? Like, she, it's like, what is expected of us? 
and who we truly are. And I think that is where that coming of age story is. Who, how is Kamala going to grow into her own self? How is she also going to shed some of that love for um, how is she going to embrace her own powers and, 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 and bring her culture into that and where she comes from and kind of like bring her parents onto her side? I think eventually we'll get there. To me, this really, really felt like it felt like a television show. It didn't seem like, you know, part one of a longer film. Um, so to me, this was a strong, strong start for this show, um, which again, I was super, super surprised by all of that. Uh, again, I'm super excited to see episode two. Um, let me know your thoughts down below of Miss Marvel. Have you had a chance to see it? Are you going to give it a shot? Um, again, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Aman, Aman Bellani is amazing in this role. I can't wait to see what happens next. Until next time, I'm your girl, Ashley, aka The Widow. And I'm out of here. Bye.